Right, evening Ian. Um, 3 1 win away today, and other results look as though they've gone our way, so putting us clear at the top of the league, that's got to be a good day for us, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. You know, we've come away from home uh, again on a 4G pitch. Uh, difficult. Good pitch, but difficult to play on sometimes when you're not used to it. Um, you know, there's no excuse, we train on it as well, but uh, I think obviously results have gone for us. Uh, I've not looked at them yet, to be honest with you, but um, that's pleasing to hear, but it's still a long way to go. But it's pleasing for me more so to see the lads, you know, put a shift in, get a result. You know, uh, I wasn't there Tuesday night, um, but from all accounts, it was a bit of a difficult game, but again, we had 10 men, similar to Worcester, so you know, you have to take that into account. But I think if we'd have 11 on the pitch, we probably won that as well, but you know. Yeah, and today as well, good to see Jamie Walker back in the goals with two well-taken goals, weren't they? Yeah, in the first half we played some really, really good stuff and I think you know, it's pleasing to see him get on the goal tally again. You know, I've asked him to be a bit more direct, me and the management staff have. You know, and he's got his just rewards today. You know, um, Malachi played very well up there with him. You know, set a couple of goals up, scored one himself as well. So Mitch has made a couple of double saves. Fantastic. You know, everyone's done well today from 1 to 16. Everybody involved. Good result. Yeah, um, Liam, like you just said, Mitchell there. Liam's made some really good saves, hasn't he, at crucial moments in the game today? Yeah, most definitely. And, you know, as a goalkeeper myself, sometimes you get called upon and, and you're, like, you're busier than you want to be. But, you know, sometimes you can come out the hero. And I think today he's, he's been the unsung one in my, in my eyes, you know, uh, especially having the character after getting charged down for the goal, for a bit of a mix up between him and Tom. You know, he's got the strength of mind to, to continue, and we needed him, and he's come up trumps for us, yeah. Yeah, and today, um, Paolo, he's played his last game before he has his uh, three-match suspension. But we've seen uh, some new signings come in today, uh, well, yeah, this morning and last night, which has sort of strengthened that mill position, midfield position as well, aren't they? So maybe losing Paolo isn't going to be as detrimental as it could have been. I think, you know, the squad is, is healthy. Uh, players on the bench, sometimes not even in the squad, can come in and do a job, you know. Um, I think it's important to, to always add to that, to continue to strive to be the best you can be. Um, you know, Jermaine's been signed from Hensford. Um, he's a good player, he's an experienced player, you know, and we want to also give young Kieran a chance. You know, he's come through the academy ranks, he's an Ilkeston lad, you know, and that's also we want to we want to promote that for the rest of the youngsters out there. Yeah, he uh, like to talk about Kieran, he played uh, during pre-season for us, didn't he? And he, he, he showed himself to be a, a pretty good footballer, hasn't he? At 16 years old, he's competent, you know, he's, he's good on the ball, um, he's going to learn, he's going to have to learn. You know, we, all, we never stop learning, even at 32 myself, and, and you know, it's good to see him progressing with us, uh, being involved in and around the first team. You know, uh, I think that's important for him for his development um, and hopefully he goes from strength to strength. Yeah, um, finally we'll sort of finish on the, yourself and your injury. How are things looking with your knee at the moment? I'm going through a bit of a tough time with the knee at the minute. Um, I've had uh, a couple of operations. Uh, the first one went well. second one, um, it, my cut got infected, one of the scars. Um, ended up contracting sepsis. I was going through my blood, uh, body and uh, my blood. Um, so yeah, I was 24 hours away from being in a serious situation, so I had another operation, antibiotics, I had a flush out, I had a needle in my knee, an aspiration, so I've been through the wars, but I'm taking each day as it comes with it at the minute, I've got another appointment on Tuesday with a consultant, and see where we're at with that, um, you know, I've not given up hope yet, but it's been a bit of a grueler. Yeah, I know you, you said at the start of the season, you know, you thought you might hope to get your boots on and your gloves by the end of the season. Is that something now that you're not thinking about and you're just getting concentrating on getting better? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's just a difficult one to answer because I don't know, really know where I'm at with it. It's kind of taken each week, week by week. Um, you know, the lads have been supportive of me. I'm enjoying doing the coaching role. You know, it's a new thing for me. And I think, you know, whatever this club wants me to do, playing, coaching, if I have to sweep the dressing rooms out, we're all in it together and, and that's what we like. So, yeah, um, I take each week as it comes. Yeah. OK, right, thanks for that, Ian. Um, we'll go away and, and celebrate tonight's win, top of the league again. That's, it's a brilliant place to be, isn't it? Perfect, yeah. Cheers, thanks. Cheers, mate.